Hands down, one of the most exciting modifications for the Supra right here. So common for carbon to get damaged in shipping. You have to inspect it before the delivery driver even leaves. This thing is rad. Mm-hmm. Let me see it from the back. Oh, that's gonna be cool. This thing is going right to the paint shop right now, but I definitely wanna show you what it looks like up close to get a look of the quality. Sit down and show you around. We'll get it painted, we'll get it PPF'd, and then we can install it. Ryan and I are talking about kind of the idea is when you see it from this angle, it's kind of obnoxious, but almost getting the carbon to start like deeper up in the corner. Ryan was helping me think through instead of like doing a hard tape line here. So I'm gonna come back. We're gonna do like a test spot. So we'll just spray it right on top before we do any sanding. We'll just spray it right on top and see if we like it. And then if we don't like it, we'll just clean it off of there. Yeah, cause the blend part is kind of the risky part, but this whole outside part will be just the paint. So that's like predictable. So it's just a matter of kind of how do we get a feel without going too too far in the process and so that's why i went to ryan to help me kind of figure that out and he already got my brain turning and so ryan thanks dude i appreciate it and we'll uh, come back for step two just got the wing back from paint ryan over a to z's killed my vision check out this fade with the satin clear it's like a satin matte but it fades to the black then we flip it over and it's the color of the car from all angles as you can see here but then when it's going to be on the car and you look up in here you'll see some carbon so clean. Step one of installing a wing, painter's tape. I'm gonna pop the hatch and put towels on the edges and set it down. See this? Over the center with the latch. And I'm gonna tape the edge of the car to protect it. Take the wing, set it upside down. The kit comes with all the right things when you buy it from this company. I'll have a link in the description, but this is gonna press perfectly into the two holes mounting points. These are key. For this step, I wanna make sure this is latched. So we have the holes now. Now what I want to do is I want to measure the distance from this to the outer, this to the outer, and see if it comes close to over here. If you don't have a caliper measurement tool, these things are great. So let's do this one. 25.7. Blinking because the battery's dying, but dead nuts even, especially on this back one right here. We've got a small drill bit. Start the pilot hole. <sighs> well, no going back here. Okay, these have done their job. Let's see if it went all the way through. As you can see, it went all the way through. Stack a bunch of these here. Cool. Now I'm gonna make my way up comfortably. And I wanna have this elevated so I don't bottom out and hit inside the car. I go ahead and do the other side. So this is a 1364, this should fit the bolts themselves. So I'm gonna jump to a seven over 32 bit. Slightly terrifying. I think this might fit real tight. I'm gonna take a bolt from the bottom and just ratchet it in, see if it will go all the way through. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. Perfect. It's literally so tight. Seven over 32 if you have a Milwaukee socket. Beautiful. The bolt's even a little warm. All right, perfect. Okay, now I just need to get the other side matched. 
Let's see what this drill bit did to this PPF. Not bad. Two tiny little marks. I was worried that it would like rip up, but it didn't. We have some work on the wing to do. So first thing it came with, these are pretty cool. So I'm gonna flip this over. These are little dots with holes in the center. I'm gonna poke it out. This is so nice of them to do. Then this little donut will watertight each hole. Oh, beautiful. Little detail, but while it's still on the paper, I'm just gonna pull out each little hole. These are icon picks. You can get these on my Amazon list in the description. I got these icon ones. Doesn't matter at all the same. Next step to take it even a little further, we have this weather stripping, which is just a big long piece. So what we can do is peel back the edge. We're gonna go inside this piece here. Okay, I'm gonna get my knife. just on the part that's shaped and formed to the trunk. And you can curve it around and tell it what to do. All the way up until it gets to the other one. That's all one connected piece. Beautiful. I'm gonna repeat on the other side. Done. Now for the best part of the install, I'm gonna go ahead and thread in each bolt. So it's barely sticking out. Pro tip, run the bolt up and down the threads. I made sure that this was smooth before I took any sort of power tool to it and there wasn't anything binding it, but these weren't going in super smooth. They weren't starting smooth. But once I ran the bolt up and down it very carefully, now they're cleaned out and they're not gonna hang me up when I try and install it. Like going through it by hand, making sure there's no hard spots. And this is good. Yeah, see that's loose, perfect. Got real grimy there for a sec when I was trying to put the wing on, especially this one. It's good now. This one likes to act up. There it goes. So if I can't get it in with this and it feels like the bolts are gonna be like cross thread, that means I need to drill the hole out bigger in the trunk so it has a little bit of wiggle room. Ended up wiggling it a little bit using the leverage of the ratchet to let it have a, just enough play so it'll do what it wants to do. Gotta drill these holes bigger. I threw some tape down. I'm gonna go to a 1564. <laughs> now these fit through here a lot looser. So that probably will do the trick. I love when things go wrong at the last second. So. I went and bought this tap and die set, not the best quality in the world from O'Reilly, but it's only place open at 1030 at night. The hub down the streets open till 11, so clutch. So I got the, to save a thread, M6 by one, the pitch is 1.0. And then all I had to do was stick it in these holes and just push through some of those rough spots, you know, really slow, little rough, back out, little rough, further back out, little further back out, <laughs> blow it out. Then I was able to thread all these bolts all the way to the bottom smooth my help may be gone so i'm gonna try it myself now that this foam is on here it's not that scary but i want to get this side on first there it 
goes. Let's go. Please, this one goes through. There's a little bit of tension from left to right on the wing. So that's what's I feel like messing me up a lot. It gets tight, but it's not cross threading. So then your mind gets confused, but that's cause we're that spot on. It's going great now. Plenty tight. Oh, uh, woo! I need to clean it off. It's so grimy. Oh, woo! Sheesh! All right, will it close? Anything hitting? No, sir. <laughs> oh, my lord. Oh, the super life, baby. You want to see something sexy? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, dang. That looks sex. Yeah. The match is good. <laughs> Sheesh. It makes a car look so much better. Straight Batman now. This is gnarly. That looks good. It looks good with the single exit. All right. I got to get this look from the back. <laughs> oh, ah! Looks insane, bro. Does that get old? Oh my, I gotta see in the cockpit if it shows in the rear view mirror. Oh yeah, I don't think you're able to see it, but it's a big old wing in the rear view. What a beauty, boys. What a beauty. Oh man, oh man. Now when these are yellow with Brembo stickers and matching the DRLs, 